Okay, so when creating a reading strategy, you have to come up with a focus for that particular book. My, the name of this first book, relating to math, is Five Green and Speckled Frogs. My purpose for this listening strategy is for this book, it's for the students to subtract by one each time they hear a frog come off the speckled log. Students will each have five frogs in front of them, which are these I have on the side, and I just made them green, but you know, of course, I'm going to let the kids color them however they want to. Students will each have five frogs in front of them, and each time they hear a frog jump off of the log in the story, they'll take away one of their frogs. So, for example, we have five green, five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. So, we should go ahead, the students should have gone ahead and taken away one frog. And the process will continue, you know, throughout the book as it gets to zero frogs. My second book choice relating to reading is Bear Feels Sick. So, my visual representation for these, this is not what I would actually use. I want the paper to be much bigger, colored ink, and laminated, and on like bigger, maybe popsicle sticks. But my purpose for this listening strategy is for the students to recognize when their character shows up in a store, in the story. I will separate the students into groups, and each group will get a certain character from the story. Throughout the story, when the groups hear the character's name, their character that they were given, they'll raise the character's picture up in the air. So then I'll be able to tell which groups are not paying attention and which groups, you know, are engaged in the story. And this story is called Bear Feels Sick, and these are the characters that are in the story. So groups of students will be assigned a character, and throughout the story, they'll hold up their character as they hear it presented in the story. My last book choice is How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And my purpose for this listening strategy is for students to be able to recognize the difference between a question or statement sentence. So, throughout the story, each um, student will be given a printed off question mark like this. And I do want it on a popsicle stick as well. And they will also get a... Um, period question a period printed out period on a popsicle stick so in this activity students will be given a question mark on a popsicle stick and a period and throughout the story when a question is asked or a statement they will hold up their question mark or their period so for example does he growl during chalk talks or roar out of turn well that's a question so students should raise their question mark up in the air so these are my three examples of my listening strategies for these particular books.